Hello there, my friends. It's been a while since you and I have conversed in this medium of YouTube about these types of games, a.k.a. roguelikes. Um, I, I've had a number of things going on. I apologize, I guess. I, I had a ton of work, like just overwhelming work, which was great, uh, very necessary and needed in my life. It's been manageable the last couple of weeks, and I've been eager to get back to rogueliking, but I also had to have... Um, some dental surgery done. They had to do a bone graft in my mouth for a tooth that got cracked and removed, and uh, the bone graft did not go well. It got all infected, and the uh, the stitching all popped out, and I think I lost most, if not all, of the bone graft. I'm not entirely sure what remains in there. I'm assured there's still bone graft in there to be used when I need to replace a tooth. And if that turns out not to be the case in six months' time, I'll be quite upset. Um, and finally, of course, this week, when I was really getting ready to go on Sunday, our, our cat Lenius had a terrible uh, illness that just suddenly befell him to the point where we thought we were going to lose him overnight. But the fine folks at our veterinary clinic got him on some antibiotics, and um, he's doing really well now. So all the stars have aligned to allow me to come back in and play some roguelikes, at least occasionally. I'm also um, redoing 100% or 90 95% of the graphics in my own roguelike of Caverns of Zaskazian 2 using AI-produced uh, imagery because um, a lot of it was kind of illegal. It was I was giving the game away for free, but a lot of it was not uh, my own design. Um, so this way at least I can get around that conundrum and finally know that there are no legal problems if somebody decides to get upset about Caverns. Unfortunately, there are thousands, if not tens of thousands, of images to replace, so it's still going to be quite a while. Anyways... Back to the, what, 2012, I think, seven-day roguelike that we abandoned way back when. Um, and I want to point out something uh, new that I have noted um, with today's roguelike. You can see it right here. I'll get the music going in a minute. We'll get the entire game going in a minute. I've just muted it for a second so I can talk to you without having to yell over music in my ears. Um, we've talked about a number of themes that pop up year to year in seven-day roguelikes. One of the themes this year certainly was Stranded on an Alien Planet. I'll be honest, I forget if there were other themes because we've been you know, stopping and starting this with such uh, long pauses in between. So I'm kind of losing the thread, but I can note this one thing for sure. One other theme of 2012 Seven Day Roguelike is that it, uh, of, the, of the challenge, is it produced a, a number of roguelikes that have gone on to become kind of legendary. Um, there was, of course, Drakefire Chasm, which even today, you know, many, many years removed from its uh, creation is still played and talked about in most classic roguelike forums. It produced uh, Cogmind, which we played earlier, um, which has gone on to become one of the most, if not the most, successful traditional commercial roguelikes in history. And it produced Hyper Rogue, which again has a massive cult following. Um, so I just think it's interesting. This, this was a year that really spat out a lot of, uh, a lot of incredible things. Here's the music. I'm going to turn it down in my ears. Um, you'll be able to um, play this because I'll include a link to where you can get it. We're going to play Hyper Rogue Classic. We're not going to do a guided tour or anything right now to learn about hyperbolic geometry. Let's just go ahead and dive in. Okay, here we are in Hyper Rogue. It is a roguelike in the traditional sense with a very traditional quest. Our objective is to collect the Orb of Yendor. And then there's one last thing we got to do after that, but I don't know what that is. Maybe escape? I don't know. Traditionally, it would be escape. Now, how do we get the Orb of Yendor? we got to collect one treasure of each type from nine different biomes to unlock the a tenth biome that will let us access the Orb of Yendor. Um, I don't know a lot about this game, I'll be honest. Um, other than to say, its claim to fame is it uses non-Euclidean non hyperbolic geometry. Geometry that is not um, you know, casually interpreted by the human mind, of course, because we live in a three-dimensional um, four space. Um, and uh, hyperbolic geometry doesn't, uh, to the best of my knowledge, doesn't exist, uh, at least in a way that we can visualize it in our in our reality. But you can see it here with this weird curved sphere. It is an infinitely sized world. There is no end to this world. No matter which way we walk, we will keep finding more world. I am assuming that is a treasure to our southwest. Um, I'm going to use the number pad to move. That worked. It is turn-based, we can take our time. Yeah, we got we got a treasure there. Now, we can keep collecting treasures of this type. You can see more stars right around here. Um, and for every one we get them, guess we're going to get one one score. You can see down there, Ice Diamond. This trip should be worth it. Um, so that was a treasure. And if we're going for a high score, sure, grab all the treasures we can. But the more treasures you grab, 
the more the denizens of your current biome will come to attack you. And I want to see if we can win on our first try. I doubt it. I'm assuming that's not casually done. So if we grab just the one treasure and leave it at that, then we know we have one treasure towards the nine we need. Let's avoid the rest of the treasures for now. Let's try and find a new biome. What is that orange thing? If we right-click it, I believe we can learn about it. There's an ice, ice wolf? A nasty predator from the icy land. Contrary to other monsters, it tracks its prey by their heap. Heat, not heap. Uh, how do I get out of this? Right-clicking, oh, welcome to Hybro. I'm not trying to get more help. All right, so um, this might be showing places we've been before. I'm not sure why it's multicolored. You can see the temperature. Don't know what the temperature means. Let's not go towards the ice wolf. That seems like a good way to invite death. If anybody gets nauseous from watching this, I apologize. What, what is all this shit? A great wall. So the great walls, we can see it right there, they separate the biomes. So if we head over there, we should find our way to a new biome. Or we can find a new treasure, like that orange thingy is spinning. Let's see what that is. For now, collect as much treasure as possible. We just got ourselves something. I don't know what. Oh, a phoenix feather. It's a local treasure. Here we got, uh, a, we're in the land of eternal motion, a chasm, and there's a running dog. This white dog is able to run all the time. It is the only creature able to survive and breed in the land of eternal motion. I don't know any way to get through, but double-clicking the right mouse button, so we've done that. As this guy gets toward us, it's, it's, oh, 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 no, the floor collapsed. Uh, the floor keeps collapsing, guys, and if we don't, uh... Get out of the land of eternal motion. Like, I don't know if we, if we pass our turn to fight that guy, are we going to fall to our death? Let's avoid treasures. <laughs> so we don't get more constantly running dogs chasing us. Where the hell are we going? There's more of them coming to the side there, guys. Find me a great wall. They're collapsing the earth behind them. Oh, there's, there's a way out of this biome. Let's get the hell out of this biome. These dogs are on tail. Okay, where are we? Where are we? We're in the alchemist lab. Is, it, is this red slime? Are we standing on red slime? Oh, we're, we're on a monster, apparently. This monster has come from another world, presumably to steal our treasures. Not as fast as an eagle, not as resilient as the guards from the palace, and not as huge as the mutant ivy from the clearing. However, they are very dangerous because of their intelligence and access to magical powers. Rogues will never make moves, which result in their immediate death. Even when cornered, they are able to instantly teleport back to their home world. Am I on a rogue? This is a rogue? I thought it was a red slime. To their home world at any moment, taking the treasures forever. But at least they will not steal anything further. Despite this intelligence, rogues appear extremely surprised rah, by the most basic facts about geometry. <laughs> they must come from some really strange world. All right. Um, I I thought. I, are we on red slime? Is red slime dangerous? Why did it tell me about a red rogue? Maybe it's just telling me the general monsters available. Is that is that what is this? That's a slime beast. The alchemist. Maybe I'm the rogue. I guess I'm the rogue. I clicked my own square. It's telling me about me. The alchemists produce magical potions from pools of blue and red slime. You can go through these pools, but you cannot move from a blue pool to a red pool or vice versa. Pools containing items count as colorless, and they change color to the PC's previous color when the item is picked up. Slime beasts... Let me make sure I understood that. Okay, I got it. Slime beasts also have to keep to their own color, but when they are killed, they explode! Destroying items and changing the color of the slime and slime beasts around them. This is pretty cool. This is pretty in-depth, more so than I uh, anticipated. I think I played a much earlier version once, like years ago. Um, this is pretty interesting. Is this one of our treasures? Elixir of life. So we can't we can't go to the blue, right? If we try and go to the blue? Yeah, it won't let me. We have to stay to the red for now, unless we can get to the blue item. We can step on the blue and then we'll it'll turn to red, I guess. Of course there's more elixirs up there. Let's go get those ones. If we can. I guess a red guy can't get me. Oh, the blue guy maybe can? I don't know. These fuckers are coming after me, guys. Can you get me? Oh, the slime beast would kill you there. So one of the interesting things about um, the version we're playing... You saw there's a bunch of options how to play. We're not playing hardcore mode, which I would have died there. Um, 
in the standard game mode, given this is either my very first time playing or one of my first times, I can't remember if I actually played it, played it back in the day. I certainly didn't know how to play back in the day. I didn't know the objective until five minutes ago. Um, one of the interesting things is it plays like chess. You, you can't be um, killed, you can only be checkmated. As soon as there's no move available to you, you lose. I'm a bit nervous here, guys. I guess we can't go that way, so let's go this way. Okay, guys, this way. All right, there's a elixir of life. It's one of my usual bonus point things where I'll tell you a shiny thumbs up <laughs> to whoever can tell me what ancient commercial, probably localized to a region of the world that I grew up in, that belonged to. Okay, guys, this way. In that exact intonation. There, we got we up Elixir of Life, guys. Prove yourself here, then find new lands with new quests. Let's get out of the uh, alchemist lab if we can. These fucking slimes are freaky. There's a biome. Oh. I, I don't see a way in offhand. Let's see if we can... Oh, that red guy's gonna get me if I'm not careful. If I move there, he moves there. I move there. He moves there. I might be dead, guys. If I go back, he'll get me. I don't think I have a choice. I believe I've lost, guys. Oh, I can attack, of course. There. I forgot that I could kill. Oh, and when I killed them, it um it also made the land change color. I forgot I can attack. Of course, there's a an out. Let me just pass my turn to kill this guy. Whoa, shit! All right, we got out of there. We are into what? Where are we? Living cave. This is living floor. Um. Okay. Here's a, a treasure. Gold. There's gold in the living cave, guys. And I also see a, another wall. A great wall over here. Let's see if we can't get there. Might be a single bump to attack kills any monster. I'm not sure. There's another biome over here. If we could just tell what biome is what. Let's go to the one we saw before. Well, that was dumb of me. <laughs> I've now lost it. Okay, there's one up there. Some sort of cave-like area. Is the uh, geometry like... Oh, yeah, there it is. I just don't understand geometry, of course. Uh, you not included in geometry. As it pointed out about the rogue, the rogue being me, I don't fucking get it. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. At least I know what I'm trying to do. I don't know how to move in a way that gets me where I want to go. Here, there's something coming up. Oh, is that the stupid uh, running dogs guys again? Yeah, we don't want to go back in the land of eternal motion. Is that also this? Man, I wish we'd taken the uh, other biome when we had the chance. Playing it super safe here, guys. Going for his one treasure of each type. This looks like a new uh, land. What do we got here? Icy land. That's where we started, man. We could, of course, cut across it. But let's see if we can find a... Alternative. This looks like we want to go, right? This is a uh, jungle. We've been in jungle. Let's go either. What is this guy? A rock troll. A big monster from the living caves. A dead troll will be reunited with the rocks, causing some walls to grow around his body. Oh, that's terrifying. You trap yourself in. Additionally, all items around the killed troll will be destroyed. Let's um. Let's try and avoid him. I just pressed a key on my numpad, guys, and it instantly let me uh. Let's kill him here where we got lots of space to allow for more. What was this thing? Oh, is it, that's the dead rock troll. I'm, I'm fearful of letting this guy chase me in case he run into a couple of them at once and then I get boxed in. But at the same time, if I pause to deal with him, what if I end up. Um... What's this guy? He's not a rock troll, he's a different kind of troll. That's a goblin. A nasty creature native to the living caves. They don't like you for some reason. Alright. Yeah, pressing any key apparently gets rid of that. So we box ourselves in here. Can't go back the way we came. Oh, biome. What are you, sir? Jungle. Right. <coughs> I just about choked to death on saliva there. Sorry. Let's grab that. Now here we got a big problem coming at us. Dormant ivy. A huge plant 
growing in the jungle. Each ivy has many branches, and one branch grows for each of your moves. Branches grow in a clockwise order. The root itself is vulnerable. This is a part of a monster. It does not count for your total kills. Alright. Um, like these things could, you see it's growing in clock, so this guy won't move, this guy will, then this guy will. Is this also the treasure we need? Active, no, active ivy. Uh, uh, he, uh, I was showing you which, which ivy's gonna move next, I see. I guess. Um, okay. Let's press a key. We also have this dude coming at us. This giant ape thinks you are an enemy. Oh, well, he thinks right. Oh, there's a root. So we do have to kill one of these ivies to get at the treasure in the center. Let's see if we can't hack our way in. Got it. Got a ruby. Right? You collected your first ruby. Let's kill this ape. Jesus, all the monsters are coming for us, guys. Should we get out of the jungle? I'm scared. There's too much on our tail. Stop to kill them when we get a chance. Alright. I don't like the jungle. Oh, there's a new way out. Let's just get the fuck out of the jungle in general. Even if it's... Oh, it's a new place. We haven't been here. Where are we? Desert. A sandworm W. Sandworm -wa. These huge monsters normally live below the sand -wa. But your movements have disturbed them, Wa. They are too big to be slain with your weapons, Wa. But you can defeat them by making them unable to move, wa. This also produces some spice, wa. They move two times slower than you, wa. That is the sandworm, wa. Stolen from Dune, wa. Alright. Um. It looks like this might be the treasure here. Spice, of course. Well, let's stay away from the fucking other trolls and shit that are coming at us. Got ourselves some spice. How many we got? One, two, three, four, five different distinct treasures. We need four other distinct lands to explore. To try and, uh, best this game. And prove ourselves a master of not just spice, but all treasures. There's a, a land. Oh, can't do that. We need to get one of these guys off us. At the same time, I want to get... Oh... back there to that wall that I saw. Is it just ice again? We don't need ice. I mean, of course we could travel through the ice to get somewhere new, but why not travel through here to get somewhere new? Just as ready. Let's avoid the sandworm -wa. What are you, sir? Crossroads? Right? That's new. Let's go into the crossroads. Alright, here we are in the crossroads. Uh, what do we know about this place? This land is a quick... Why did I change my voice? This land is a quick gateway to other lands. It is very easy to find other lands from the crossroads, which means that you find monsters from most other lands here. As long as you have found enough treasure in their native lands, you can find magical items in the crossroads. Mirror land brings mirror and clouds, and other land types bring magical orbs. A special treasure, Hyperstone, can be found on the crossroads, but only after you have found ten of every other treasure. Jeez, what the hell? Uh, so I know I know that there are sub-quests. We're trying to complete the main quest, of course, but sub-quests, if you gather numbers of, uh, you know, treasures from other lands and come here, you can maybe find, you know, orbs, magical orbs that'll help you. Um, what the hell's going on here? Yeah, 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 get out of here. Press escape. I don't know if there are any native... Tra oh, we can get to almost anywhere from here. Land of Eternal Motion. Living Cave. Hunting Ground. Let's go to Hunting Ground. I don't know if there are any treasures native to... Um, this place itself. Alright, let's try and remember. Let's walk northeast. And use my absolute shitty memory to pretend to recall that we have to go southwest to get out of here. Oh, there's a treasure. Alright, let's go get that. We go southeast slash southwest. We go, bah! What do we get? You collect your first turquoise. You are ambushed.
kill those hunting dogs. I didn't, I didn't read about them. It looks like this place in itself is, is well, is a crossroads. It leads to everywhere. Um, so, is this land of eternal motion again? Am I sure about that? What do we got? What is this place? Is this a jungle? No, it's a living cave. We've been there. Icy land. I think if we keep walking through the crossroads, we'll, we'll probably find more entrances to areas we haven't been, you know? This is my hypothesis. Let's go get that ruby, just because it's right there. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have. It means that if we ever go back in the jungle, we'll be in more trouble. Obviously, I'm playing with very poor tactics. There must be, like, a, a tactic of, you know, gather certain... Ooh, can he come in here? That... Oh, what's this place? Oh, that's the uh, alchemist lab. Um... I mean, there must be tactics involving, you know, collecting a bunch of treasures and then coming here to collect magic items and shit. Which I'm obviously not doing. What are you? Man. Find me something new. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six. We still have three more to go, guys. Three more lands we have to find. Unless there's treasure native to the cross crossroads, then we have two more lands to find. This place is providing us a nice, easy um, access to you know any place we want to go. Darting in and collecting a bunch of treasures, guys. Can we break an ice wall? You cannot move through the ice wall. Or pardon me, there's an exclamation point there. You cannot move through the ice wall! The hell are you doing? He's ducking in to collect some treasures, guys, in hopes that we suddenly find magic items. But we may need, like, ten of these things to... Uh, I've lost the crossroads. That's how fucking bad I am at remembering basic directions. And granted, we're in a warped world of fucked up geometry. So, some forgiveness given, I'm sure, but... I have no ability to remember where I'm going, ever. In an ideal world, we would get ten of each, right? Find me a way out of here. This is getting too frantic. I don't know if every... I doubt that every instance of a given world um, is... Uh, how do I put this? Is uh, unique in its approach to you know, how many treasures you've taken. I don't know if... Uh, this is a very dangerous world to be in. Because you're, you're confined in your movement, so oh, I'm trapped if I keep going this way. You got five. We can collect ten of everything, but of course there is not... We haven't even found the way to get to everything, because there's so many worlds we're missing. So many biomes we haven't yet found. Something I'm just noticing now, um, worth... Very worth mentioning, is the excellent music in this game. Listen to this. It's delightful little, uh... Ditty. Playing in the background. All right, we've got ten. Let us get the funk out of here. There is a way to get out of this biome here. Let's not get more than ten. That's just asking for trouble, I think. Oh, shit, I forgot about this place. I forgot about his fucking crazy ass falling floors.
This is a bad place to be. Aggroing all the monsters by grabbing all the treasure. Since our, our movement is so clearly confined. Let's grab one more to get ten nonetheless. Let's try not to grab any more. So you don't... Whoa! Artificially piss off these monsters unnecessarily. It looks like there's a way out over here. There's a guy in a rowboat there. What the fuck's this guy doing? Uh, floors collapse, run. We can't get out here because we can't pause to fight him. Who is that? Just to find out. Mighty warriors from the fjord who can use boats. That was cool, eh? They're in a fucking boat. That's interesting. Let's see if we can get in up here. But this guy is fucking... Oh, there's a green thing. Oh, what happened? You found the orb of safety. You fall into a wormhole. Um, so apparently we can shift and click to use an orb, but I don't know what that entails, what it means. We have an orb of safety going on around us right now. Let's go into the fjord. We haven't been in here yet. Let's also check this out. That's a crossroads. Okay. So we're in the fjord. Just kill the albatross. Alright, one brand new treasure, guys. That would be amber. I guess we're... Now I'm going to try and grab ten of everything. <laughs> because we've learned that there can be some value in that. Can I use this boat in some way? Is there something I can do with it? No, not yet. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh oh Can I use the orb of safety? Is that... Or did I already use it? Is it like a one-shot, I used it and we're done type thing? We no longer... I think we're dead. I don't. Can we move in the water? No, we can't. We can't move through water. You cannot move through the sea. Um. I mean, if we move here, he gets us. If we stay here, he moves here. He moves here. We kill him. He gets us. I, I think we're just dead. Let's just see if there's any controls we don't know about. It did say something about um, you know, throwing an orb. Um, but I think we just used that one when we stepped on it. Maybe it just made us safe for a while or something? I don't know what that did. Apparently, if we defeat 100 enemies, we access the graveyard. Collect 60 treasures to access even more lands. Oh, I didn't know that. Alright, well, we're learning, um... We're learning more as we go here, guys. Unfortunately, we're learning it as we... as we stand at the brink of death. Um, I could try shift. Let's just try shift and... Why does it tell me about the bird? Those large seabirds, those large seabirds attack you for some reason. At least they are not as fast as eagles. Um, you can also use your mouse, I think, guys. Let's find out. Yep. Oh, okay. There's more land here. Evidently. Not infinitely so. That's it, eh? Game over. We are checkmated, guys. And here comes another one of these guys in that fucking boat thing. What is this thing? Is this an eagle? Well, I can't tell. It won't tell me anymore. Well, there you go. See how it ended. Oh, right, now I can do this. It's a pirate. Just a typical yar hyperbolic pirate. And, uh, an acid gull. Where did this strange bird come from? Acid gulls dissolve the land on which they fall when they die. That's interesting. There are some really interesting, intriguing monsters in this, guys. There's some really intriguing gameplay. I had seen it played a bit you know, here and there. I'd heard about it a lot because it's a very well, uh, a pretty popular roguelike. And I heard it talked about a fair amount. Um, but I don't know that I'd ever played it more than a couple of minutes way back when, and, you know, way back when being years ago. It was much less in-depth at that time, and I didn't really see the point in it at that time. Um, but that was really fun and intriguing, and I'm, I'm, it, I'm interested to learn more about you know, collect a hundred of this to do this, and collect, you know, sixty of this to do this. I'd, I, if I'd have known that, I'd have, you know, changed my tactics a bit. That said, that was a half hour, almost right on the dot, so I think we're going to call it there, guys. I will include a link to where you, too, can download Hyper Rogue and play it for great fun. Oh, look at, look at the animation, too, I'm just noticing. Look at these guys kind of floating. Let me just get rid of this for a minute. Didn't notice the subtlety of the animation there. It's kind of nice, a little shadow, a little drop shadow. Pretty cool. Is this guy bob up and down? Maybe not at that distance. He's bobbing, though. Subtly, but he is. Maybe just the flying guys do. Oh, it tells us over here, too. And look at this. Uh, our kill count. We killed uh, 15 slime beasts. 
parts. Monsters. Ah, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Well, we learned what we could. Um, so I'm going to call it there. I'll, I'll be back when I can be. I do work tomorrow. I don't know if I'll have time to play tomorrow. I don't You know. I'll be back when I can be. I'm, I've learned. I think if, if anything, the last many weeks of absence have taught me don't make any promises because uh, I don't know, man. The world changes on a dime. But I'll be back as soon as I can be, whether that's uh, later today or whether that's in another week or two. Um, I hope you enjoyed Hyper Rogue. Download it. See you. How do I get out of here? V for menu. F10 to quit. Ah, look at that nice black screen. Bye.